All right, guys, took my nervous peak, so I'm feeling good about that. We checked the tune up. This is the first time anyone's ever driven this car, but um, down the drag strip, so really hoping to do my best out here. You know what I'm saying? Tires are checked, ice down, fueled up. Let's do this. Hell yeah, brother. You're on the Please Me For On YouTube channel. Month of Freedom. Not a bad way to start off the day, heading to the racetrack. An old Bailey racing unit. So this is the home track. 131. Other sports park. Never been here before. Nothing better than some McDonald's burritos and a blue Powerade. Yeah, race baby. Race Give me a rundown on what we're doing here. Yep. All right. So this thing's got two different lash settings for the street drive and then for racing. All right. The street drive one will freak, will freak you right out, but yeah. it, it works. Okay. So always do this stuff cold. So you'll do uh, the way normally we'll do this is we lash the valves first thing in the morning. Yeah. So we make a drive or do whatever. Always do these things cold. It's a real hassle doing them hot because they jump all over the place depending on what temperature it is, okay. et cetera, et cetera. So we're going to lash this thing just up at 10,000 intake and exhaust, cold, okay. stone stone cold. Then you will drive it to the track, make passes, do your whole deal. Then when this thing is warm, after you've made a pass and you're getting ready to take off for the end of the day, zero lash. Okay. Literally just tighten it down. Just to tighten her down. Zero. I mean, zero. No feeler gauge in there at all. We'll make our street drive, and it'll it grows because it's aluminum block, aluminum head, so it yeah. swells yeah, quite yeah. a bit. So even at zero lash, it runs around 15 to 20, depending on how hot the engine is. Wow. So <clears throat> even at, at zero lash, and we just do that because if we lash this thing up, at, you know, at 20 thousands, it grows probably about 40. Uh, when it's wow. down the street for 10 hours at a freaking time. Yeah. So we'll go through this. We'll lash this up. I'll have to or make sure you're doing everything we'll right. We're putting it at 10th hour right now. Yep, lash it up at 10. We'll be able to make passes. And then you'll, uh, we won't do the street driver here. Yeah. Course. But, that's but we you, would put that zero afterwards. Yeah. Okay. And then I'll give you a refresher course when we're on drag weekend. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> All right. Cool. That's all right. You see that's the overlap side there? Yep. Where both of them are? Right there. Right as she starts About going a, down. Yeah, right as she starts going down, 10,000. Okay, so the uh, the golden rule on, on this stuff too is here we're gonna adjust it and we'll get it, you know, right spot on the money yeah. because it's the brand new, it's the initial deal. But uh, if, if you need to adjust something more than a couple thousands, it's potentially broke. So that's kind of, we, we, we don't, if there's something that's up, like really way out to lunch, don't ever bother adjusting it. There's something wrong. Something's wrong. If it's within one, two thousands, whatever. I mean, you can yeah. you can adjust it if you want to. Don't matter. But if it's it doesn't way matter. out. Yeah. If it's way out, it's broke. Don't ever adjust something that is way out. I guarantee you, it's broke if there's or something loose. way out. Yes, loose, if tight, whatever. It's not loose. If it's way out. It's broke. If it's yeah, if it's way loose. There's a lifter broke. And I just call you repeatedly until you pick up. Pretty much. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're good. Alright, I'll tell you this, everyone's gonna think I'm buying this car. I already do. <laughs> I already told them you were. <laughs> Where do I wire the money? <laughs> Getting lots of conspicuous shots of the four sales tickets. <laughs> yeah. it up. Oh, yeah. now we just need something that says soul, soul. Oh. <laughs> you should cross it out part way through the day. Right, yeah. Oh, it smells good. That smells a little better. How fast are you trying to go on your first rip in it? $5.99. Uh, <laughs> Unreal. All right, so Tom's going to make the first rip in it just to make sure everything's straight and should be how it is, you know, how it used to be. So uh, once he gives it the seal of approval, we'll hop in. We made a clean 
Clean seven pounds of boost. Tom's gonna make a rip to half track. And then I can let off the ball deal button in this puppy. Pretty excited? Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I'd be lying if I said I'm not a little nervous. It's not my car. And uh, I don't wanna mess it up. So I just wanna have a good clean run. All right, it's Tom's first rip in the car for the day. That would be the fastest pass I have ever made. And he went off at the eighth. Wow. <laughs> okay, well boys, I guess uh, it's go time. This is go time, here we go. Oh, Frank, that thing's fast. 438? Yeah. It's like a freaking practice car. 438, 162, so he must have lifted. 438 at 160 in the eighth. That's a ripper. Yeah, look at the data logs, make sure the oil pressure is good. A little weird, so we uh, added some resistance to the bypass, basically like turned up the bypass, so change the oil, hopefully made better oil pressure. And we'll go back out. Yes, I think it might be my turn. I don't know, I'll talk to Tom. 62, so he must have lifted the board. 438. How'd it feel? 294, 438. Oh, 110 back. to the 60 foot. <laughs> That's insane. That'd still be the fastest run I've ever made. Lifting. If I lift it. <laughs> you feel like she's ready now? I think she'll be good. So, I mean, obviously, I mean, we'll check the that oil stuff or whatever. So, yeah. I mean, I say that, I say we may hold off on your six second pass and just have you run to the eighth. But, okay. Um, other than that, though, you can get your quickest eighth mile time. So okay. How All right. How you been to the eighth? Uh, 479. 479? Yeah. What'd that do out of it? Uh, 438. Gotcha. So, <laughs> so yeah, you should be in the 420s. All right, cool. All right, so guys, as we review the data, she's a little shaky in the oil pressure department, so we're gonna run her just past the eighth. Yep, just past the eighth. I mean, it yeah. should be if you just go right there to the eighth, it makes that two, three shift, and then once you get past the eighth, then just let off the gas, it should yeah. coast uh, 690. Might, so. Yeah, it might be a bottom seven, or even maybe squeeze a six, so. We're gonna add some oil. We think it might be a smidge low. And uh, I'm gonna run it to the eighth. We're gonna see if it's good. If it's not, we're gonna call it there. But if it is good, we might run it down the quarter. So, just see how she does. But it's, it's finally time. So I guess I better, uh, we're gonna let it cool off and then suit up and let her eat. Great. Suiting up. Big moment. Spicing up. Spicing up. Nervous, dude. Stop saying I'm nervous. Here. Going back out. All right, guys, took my nervous peak, so I'm feeling good about that. We checked the tune up. This is the first time anyone's ever driven this car, but Tom um, down the drag strip, so really hoping to do my best out here. You know, playing. tires are checked, ice down, fueled up. Let's do this. It's gonna be great. <laughs>
an opportunity, man. This is gonna be awesome, boys. Put it in second as I'm coming in there. <laughs> Did it look good? Nice and straight. Oh yeah. What it's supposed to do. Hell yeah. Uh, that's a good pass for a first hit.
give you a thumbs up. I mean, you did you did everything perfect. Dude, let's go. Everything perfect, man. Where's Tom? Right oh, there. yeah, dude. You lifted probably just just after the eighth. I lifted right after the eighth. Right after the eighth, yeah. A six eighty. <laughs> 108, 60 foot. 108. 108. Nice, too. It was all started and over before I could even think. Like, I saw the eighth mile cones and I was like, let off. Damn. 684 at 167. That's because she's really slowing down then. Oh, uh, she, what, did, what would that be? Like 215 if I stayed in it? Uh, yeah, it would have been 220, 225. I was nervous ripped the burnout and like everything melted away like I felt like I knew the car right after I did the burnout it felt so right like I was just like yeah we got this backed up pulled in so calm on the brake just whoop, done yeah. how's that feel like a big tire car launching like that because it just squats it you does man it's just like, rah, like you know, it's One oh eight sixty foot, four thirty one in the eighth, quarter mile ET, six eighty four off the throttle. <laughs> this is cruise. Yeah, I just did the one two. Yeah, just just the one two gear change. You lift it before it makes the two three. Of course, it usually makes two three out here. What did it go? When did I lift? Like time wise. Four point six six. Four point six seconds. So yeah, that's right after the eighth. That's just right after the eighth. Yeah. The car is just that fast. The car is that fast. <laughs> All right, boys, plan is this time full quarter mile. As long as everything feels right, we got to keep going. Quarter mile pass. That's the plan. All feels good to the end. Six five. Taking this car in the sand trap. That's a parachute, but they didn't come out. Whoa, that was close. I was almost the guy who wrecked Tom Bailey's car. All I know is it geared out. The brakes might be on fire. I didn't see the what happened? I was watching you looking for the chutes. <laughs> like, I dumped him at a thousand feet. 
And I'm like waiting, nothing's coming on. I said, there's no shoots coming. I just got on the brakes. It actually just stopped perfect. So yeah, I mean, I've run, unfortunately I've stopped it like in passes like that, but man. What was the mile per hour on that? That's uh like, it's on your phone. I was watching you with the shoots. Like, you don't even know. Thing, and I saw the 53. Wait, wait, wait it's 653? 653. Oh. <laughs> with no parachutes. What well, this guy said, nah. This guy was just still sitting in the thing. Holy Toledo. How long have they been packed for? A little while. Yeah, we probably should have taken them out. Well, I thought about making, <laughs> like, when I was going to make a pass, I was like, oh, I'll just throw the shoots. That way we can repack them and it'll all be good. Yeah. But then you only went to the everything head. got carried away for us. And then next thing you know, we're like, shit, we got to hurry up so we can get out of here. Holy and, Toledo. Like, oh, man. Hey, we're good. We're good. <laughs> By the way, dude, that thing is rad. Play here, I'll look on my phone real quick. 224, brother. 224. It's <laughs> <laughs> ridiculous. They were smoking when I first got out. I was worried it was on fire, but what could they go, brother? All right, we're gonna head back up front. Gotta love having no parachutes on your first 200 mile an hour pass. 224 mile an hour pass. Man, this thing will really give you a run for your money. Tom, was it scary watching it with no shoots? Yep, except I didn't even know. I'm like, throw the shoot, throw the shoot, throw the shoot. I'm surprised it made the, uh, made the corner so good because parachutes didn't come out. So. Oh, they didn't? No, the shoots didn't come out. Not At least not right. So, made the stop. Oh, yeah. The brakes are hotter than right now. <laughs> Don't forget, Steve Morris engine power. Brick lead. 224. Yeah. 653. Holy crap, man. He's gonna flip. 24. <laughs> yeah. It was very spicy on the big end. Yeah. I was like, damn, this feels really fast. And then I was like, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> it still feels really fast. Still, we're still going really fast. <laughs> we should be going really slow now. 109 to the 60 foot, 433 to 172 in the eighth, and a nice little 653. At 224. At least, uh, at least the car is just so built right to freaking do this. Thanks, Steve. Yep. Thank you, Tom. Yep. Thank you, Aiden, too, man. We put in some work today and uh, knocked out my first six second pass, my first 200 mile hour pass in the car. My first started six second all. pass was in the eighth mile, in yeah. the eighth mile with a quarter mile time. I know. <laughs> then your first quarter mile pass, six second quarter mile pass, staying in it, you had no shoots. Yeah. That, that was, was awesome. trial by fire. Really love it. Yeah. <laughs> just the right way to do it. So, <laughs> dude, it just gets me so fired up. You know, you know, just run six seconds all the time, man. This is unreal. Thank you for the opportunity. And uh, you guys should definitely go check out the Tom Bailey YouTube channel. Hit the subscribe on that, man. They got a bunch of content on all these cars they got around here. So, and uh, just to thank them for the opportunity to go over there and check some stuff out. And uh, this is amazing. So, more to come, though. We'll see you in Florida soon. So, oh, yeah. Yeah. All right, well, I'll end it off there. We're back to Florida. Thank you guys, and uh, thanks for watching the video. We can see you later.